Hey guys, it's Wednesday. And who are you? I'm Jason Monday from Skyway Flyer. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Ready? Are you a video or a picture? I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> uh, <laughs> really? <laughs> Hello. Hey guys, it's Wednesday. This is a different kind of vlog for me because it's in the style of the thoughts from places from the vlog brothers, but I'm changing it a little. I'm making it thoughts from time to fit with our theme. This week I thought I would kind of go over some things I've thought about time. I've thought about times when I wish I could change a decision I made or go back and do something differently. Say something differently. Try to be someone a bit different. But then I realized that each of these things would make me a different person now, and I don't think I'd like that. Because I kind of like who I am right at this moment. But there have been some hard times, and those hard times shaped me, so it's okay. Also, meddling in your timeline, not the best idea. Well, according to most. Um, however, I like to think about the times I would go back to and re-experience, kind of on the sidelines. I would just kind of re-watch them and re-enjoy them. The videos I'm speaking over are perf perfect examples of this and these times. The contour, the summer of 08 with my best friend, and my very first vlog. And this summer, with Rebecca, and visiting a playground of my childhood that looks like a wooden mini Hogwarts and has many secret passageways straight to my heart. As well, in this park we kind of discovered this strange adult baby swing. It was fun. Also, Rebecca made a joke about the G-Force. And I'll never forget it. So anyway, of all times, I would just like to travel back and see them again. Also, I realize that in part these videos that I watch allow me to live the moments again and the memories. Because memory is directly correlated to your senses, to your sight, to your smell, to your sound, to your taste, and to touch. And by viewing these videos, I activate sight and sound, and I have a stronger feeling towards it. Like when I watch the video, my first ever vlog, and the summer of 08 with my best friend, and I see her fall off her chair, I laugh, and when I watch her put things on my head, I laugh even harder because I remember how funny it was right at that moment. And at the contour, I met out and hung with two lovely individuals from Ottawa, Taya and Jesse, who recently got into a car accident, and if anything, I really wish I could travel back and go in for just one moment when I know I wasn't in the concert and tell Taya not to go out on the 7th of July. But, unfortunately, that's not really possible and may not have had a favorable outcome. To finish this week's theme, I kind of have to talk about who my favorite time travelers are. I love Einstein the dog from Back to the Future. He did time travel, he was the first two, and I love the fact that it's a dog. Um, I also like Kyle Reese from The Terminator. Um, because that entire film kind of revolves around, well, the Terminator coming back, as well as him. I also like Hiro Nakamura from the series Heroes, because he's got such a playful spirit, and even though he doesn't really understand what he's doing, he does at the same time, and it's quite funny. And Henry from The Time Traveler's Wife. I absolutely adore that novel. I've never seen the movie, and I don't know if what they've changed, but the novel is brilliant, and it's quite a fun experience to read. 
The reasons why I, would, I like them each individually kind of take too long to explain. I kind of covered where I'd like to go in, in reality, though I think a pensive from ha the Harry Potter series where you get to relive your memories and just see them from the sidelines might be a better idea for me than a TARDIS or a time-traveling DeLorean. Mostly because I would get to go back and experience my own memories once more from the sidelines and not really affect my own time stream. Yeah, I think I would really like a pensive.